Hey guys, well today I'm under the car about to do this transmission oil and drill to change now there's no drain bung on it so you drop um, sump off the transmission very carefully then tip it out best way to go about it is to take all the bolts out but leave one in each corner but you only have them in two or three turns that way you can just sort of break the seal of the um, gasket and you don't drop the pan and end up with oil all over your face. I would clean it off first, but I'm going to clean it afterwards because I don't really feel like laying around in water or trying to fix this up. So yeah, we'll start off with the fluid and um, gasket and then do the lines up front. There's probably a couple of lines back here that need replacing as well, so we'll get those done while it's still up on the ramps. So well, that's the pan off the transmission now. Just waiting a couple minutes for it to finish dripping down. And then, yeah, we'll put the new filter on, put the pan back on the new gasket. Change the two lines underneath and I'll gently roll it back down onto the ground. Change the lines up the front and fill her up with fluid again. That's the drain pan all empty. Hold and actually put a magnet in the bottom of those to attract all the metal particles. So, there's a bit of build up on it, it's probably about five millimeters thick but that's just bits of band from over the years as long as the transmission still changes I'm not gonna fucking rebuild it I'll get a second hand one unless I really have to because that's money down the drain but quick fucking oil and filter change on this thing should bring it back to full operation this gasket looks like it'll come off rather easily like it's just crumbling there and nice. Let's throw it in the bin. Drain the oil into another bottle or something and dispose of it thoughtfully. Or put it in the bin or something. Yeah, don't just tip the oil down the fucking drain because if it plugs up and there's still oil in your drain, you'll get to wear the bill. And probably a bill from the APA as well. So pan's all cleaned out now, just got to change the filter. So the pan's refitted now, all I could do is wash underneath, push it off the ramps, do the hoses up the front, then top it up with fluid again. So all done now, I had to cut the video short because um, the camera battery went flat, I've washed the engine and everything, I've checked it for leaks, just idling and it seems alright. So we'll take it for a spin, see how we go. Oh, I must have lost a bit of fluid in the last week or so because the pan when I drained it had two litres in it but to get to the full mark on the dipstick took 4.1 so no wonder she was playing up today when I was driving home from work where the fuck can I see the camera on the dash wait for this car to go and then I'll go it's probably I over there Shifting is just as smooth as it was when it was full of fluid before. Wait for the engine to heat up a bit and then I'll punch it. The nice thing about this town is fairly quiet streets. There's a few coppers out at the moment with the whole Christmas New Year thing. And they're literally out to get you, but no. Any other part of the year be a fucking dickhead non-stop and you're unlucky to get caught. Oh yeah, it fucking slams into gear now. Before it would slowly slip in a second, but yeah, now it just grabs it. 
rocks better. There's one line I couldn't replace on the front. There was, I only had two metres of hose and I would have needed about two and a half to get it all fully done properly. But it appears one's already been replaced because two, the two I did that were leaking badly had made of a different material. I'll get those out of the bin in a minute to show you guys. But yeah, they were pretty well split and fucked on the ends. And someone had just kept tightening up the worm gears on the hose clips and literally crushed them. So I'm the home straight now. Oh yeah. The tranny fluid was a bit brown, but they came out. No, this cleaner stuff in it seems to be making a huge difference. New filter. The filter, I didn't show that in the video because my battery had gone flat. That just snaps in and snaps out. You've got to make sure though the little rubber o-ring seal that's on the filter comes out with it. This one didn't. And it was a pain in the ass to get out. But if you push it gently with a screwdriver you can turn it sideways and then grab it with a pair of long nose pliers. <coughs> I guess next up is fixing up the front bumper bar, polishing it, and then adding the CD player. Better not get the ass into the missus car. She'll fucking shoot me. God damn it, mate. So, fluid. Bit dark, but... They've all been strangled and cut by the fucking hose clamps. Probably half the issue. They're all hard and cracked. Alright, thanks for watching.